Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we'll be talking about the top three animals to trap for money. In this video, we'll start off with number three, which we do have a tie between coyotes and skunks. First off, for coyotes, they could be minimally to high pressured animals, and this can make trapping in certain areas difficult. So your time versus payback may be less than others due to this, depending on your area. Coyotes pelts, depending on where you can live as well, can change heavily on the amount that they are worth. So down south, for instance, you can get around $15 per pelt versus a person up in Minnesota or somewhere in that area could get 60 plus or out west they can get $100 to $200. As always, primeness and color of the fur is everything with coyotes. The darker, more coarse fur doesn't go for nearly as much as the more creamy fur. Coyote skulls on average can go for $20 to $30. Also along with that you can sell coyote glands for about $100 a gallon. This includes all of their glands that they have like hock glands, anal glands, urine bladders, sex organs, and neck glands. As always they always want these frozen fresh and they don't want you drying them out or anything like that. Next is skunks. Pelts are of minimal value for skunks unless it's a very pronounced stripe or stripes. The main thing with skunks is their essence. The essence can be sold for about $18 an ounce or it could go for even more if they had it in larger quantities. This can be done very lucratively if you do it well and you don't spill as much and you get a lot out of them and if you were to target these animals as usually they aren't highly pressured animals for trapping as a lot of trappers don't like to deal with them. The pelt is typically around five to eight dollars unless those stripes are really good and then it could perhaps go for more. If you like this type of content, leave a like and we'll continue to come up with more like this. And also thank you for 1,000 subscribers. If you'd like to support the channel even more, feel free to watch an ad or two and we would appreciate it. At number two, we do have muskrats and nutrias. Due to their dense populations, it makes trap setting easy and effective, saving you money by driving less and saving you time by having everything concentrated in one place. The really good thing with these animals is there's minimal work to flesh and dry the hides and minimal tools required to do so. For nutrias, usually their fur is not worth anything, so the bounty programs put in place by counties or cities is really helpful. This makes it where southern trappers can still trap this type of animal and help out local ecosystems, but still get something out of it. Nutria and muskrat skulls can be sold right around $5 to $10 uh, unless you have a specific area you could go for more. The pelts for muskrats go from $3 to $6 depending on size and primeness. Auction houses for pelts have been doing well and moving a good amount of muskrat furs so far and that should continue through this season. The meat from these animals can be used in baits or you can sell them for about 50 cents a carcass to certain bait makers around your area, or you can make your own pretty easily just by Googling it. The glands from these animals can go for around $75 a quart, and just like with the coyotes, you want these frozen fresh. And in the number one slot, we do have beavers. Due to the low pelt prices that they have, they are not getting trapped as heavily, which is driving their caster prices up. Like skunks, where their hide is or their fur is not worth as much, it's actually their essence, or in this case, the beaver's caster, which is worth the most off of them. The pelt af average at auction is ten to twelve dollars, where their caster price per pound is eighty to one hundred and twenty dollars, depending on the fullness of the sacks. Another thing that you can sell off of a beaver is their oil sacks. Typically this is about a buck per pound, or you can use it in your own baits or your own lures. Beaver tails can sell right around $3 each, frozen, or you can use them as oil and use it in your own baits as well. Lastly, their skulls you can sell for 
20 to $50, depending on the area you are selling and how big and how nice the skull is. As always, develop good relationships with your buyers so they begin to know you and the quality that you bring. This may make you get better rates than a one-timer coming by. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you think of something else should have been listed in here, leave it down there as well. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.